Hey. Hello. <laughs> Back again. All right, well, welcome everybody to our weekly recap. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sharky. I'm Jessica. You can find me at sharky.sp on Instagram, and you can find her at jessc.sp, or my piercings Instagram is piercingsbyjessc.sp. So thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this channel. There's a notification bell somewhere around there. I'm sure you can find it. But uh, turn that on. We upload all the time, and we do new weekly premieres and new recaps every Friday. So please stay tuned and make sure that your friends and family are a part of it as well. So this week, uh, I got to tattoo my sister Chalice. Well, she's my brother's wife, one of my best friends. We grew up together, and his beautiful wife, she came in to get this whole floral abdomen piece and kind of coming up here and it's family flowers and you know memorial piece to, to commemorate her family but we also got to do some really cool filigree and some things like that coming up around it it's pretty awesome you can see pictures of it possibly here or in the next segment there How's it going guys? It's Eric's back from Sharky's Paradise. Follow me at Erox Artwork on Instagram and welcome to another week. Again this week, tattooing another coworker. Shout out, Ink by Bondi. Oh yeah, buddy. High five. <laughs> Santi, uh, one of our coworkers who we work with here, uh, got a palm tattoo. Super painful spot to hear her tell it. Uh, we did a crescent moon skull uh, in the palm of her hand. Super fun. It's the first palm that I've ever done. So it was really an interesting experience. It's weird seeing how the different skins take different needles and inks. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, We Are One Tattoo. How y'all doing? So this week, we started out with a geometric, like half sleeve, quarter sleeve on the forearm. And that was super dope. We did it with a lot of negative space, light grays, as well as a little bit of black. And that was actually a cover up. I dare you to try to find it. So this week I also did a Grim Reaper on a swing, like an adolescent Grim Reaper in like a neo-traditional style, but all black. That was great. And it actually was going along with us hanging Spider-Man and Deadpool on the other calf. Hey guys, que pasa? <laughs> How are you? I hope everybody is doing great. Uh, thanks for watching us again. Very excited to tell you what's happening this week. I did a tree with like a very colorful background in a circle shape for two sisters and they were just amazing. So I'm a tattoo veteran. I already had four. My sister had had none. She's always wanted one. So we decided we're coming from Ohio to Colorado and we would get matching sister tattoos. We ended up with two pine trees it's for two sisters, but the pine trees also uh, represent being evergreen, everlasting. How was the tattoo experience? It was great. Uh, Alex is great, smooth, easy, not painful. Well, maybe a little, but not painful too much. <laughs> so it was great. We appreciate it. Maybe back someday. <laughs> How's it going? It's going fine. Nah, that's painful as I thought. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Figure if I could have four children, I could have a tattoo. Right? right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Seeing how everybody just takes tattoos as a very like meaningful thing, and a client talked to me the other day saying these needles are for making art on your body. I was like, oh, that's such an amazing way to see the tattoos. And we had super fun time. She was super nice. Yes, come and get matching tattoos with me. So this guy walking and he wanted a dice where life is pain, because life is pain sometimes. But anyways, he wanted it like right here. He ended up having a bunch of tattoos and we talked about it and he made them himself. So that was a little bit intimidated like he has to do a bunch of things and now I'm gonna do this tiny thing that probably will, you know, like, be good or bad. <laughs> but it was great, he loved it. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine. Awesome. What brings you to Sharky's 
tattooing. <laughs> he ended up like DJing for a few bars and he's gonna come back and he's gonna like have a party with us and like, ooh, great time. Thank you for your support though. My client, the greatest client, Life is Pain DJ. So for Chelsea, uh, we start doing half of sleep. We only did line work with her just because a unexpected situation that we had. She had to tattoo that day and she ended up tattooing this on me, which I love it. But I just did fine line, line work and we still need to finish the shading and the colors and all that. It's supposed to be a uh, neo-traditional tattoo, but it's gonna be amazing. Uh, she's super happy with it. She's very excited to finish it like in a couple weeks after. And yes, stay tuned for how the half the sleeve end up being. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that we like to do here in the shop is we like to work on each other so that way we have some experience on exactly, you know, what it's like to get tattooed. So right now we have Alex. She uh, just worked on Chelsea's arm, got some good experience there. And right now Chelsea's about to return the favor. How does this make you feel? Very good. I am very <laughs> nervous though, but I'm good. What the f did she just say? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Sharky's Paradise. Um, glad you're here. <laughs> so last week, Alex got to do some line work and tattoo on me. So we swapped and I did some leaves on her forearm right here. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken. Can I get a tattoo? I'm gonna break down. Oh! This part down here is yeah, rough. <laughs> Those are always challenging to do because they're on another tattoo artist, so they're sitting there watching you the whole time. And she's more seasoned than I am, so she's just, she's really great at giving me advice, but then it adds an extra element of nervousness to the whole tattoo. Yes. And you just need to wet wipe in by like soft. Nice and soft. Like, I'm trying. You know when you go like on the ocean. Am I hurting you? Yes. Oh. How'd that wipe make you feel? way better <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it came out great and we both got some sick ink that night so it was fun what do you think about that hector <laughs> nature so i did a really cool tattoo of some handwriting of a homeopathic physician that wrote a letter to the u.s surgeon general in 1843 um, this tattoo was awesome. I really liked doing it. She wanted it to be as close to his handwriting as possible So we did the little ink blots and stuff and she loved it. I loved it. It turned out great.